you ate my food, you showed respect to the tyrants, you prostrated in front of the rich. To whom did you pray? To whom were your devotions? At whose door did you stand? Have you prepared your answers? These answers will come to you only if you leave the desires of your nafs. Allah says, don't depend on the desires of your nafs, as this will make you leave the path of Allah. To be a slave to your nafs, your ego, is worse than being a fire worshipper, worse than taking the moon and the sun and the golden calf as your gods, because the idols will not necessarily lead you to rebellion and disorder, while your nafs and your ego with arrogance and pride and envy will lead you to revolt. For all your faults, you put the faults on others and on the devil. Whose fault was it which led the devil himself to rebellion? To disobey Allah Azza wa Jal, it was his nafs, his ego which gave him foolish arrogance and envy, if you leave the desires of your nafs, see if the devil or the man-devils around you will be able to lead you astray. If you cannot educate your ego, your nafs, take it to a sheikh. Prechance he may do it for you. Let's see what will happen in the grave. When you will be brought to the grave, you will be brought back to life. You will look around and see that you are in the company of friends with beautiful faces. When you ask them who they are, they will tell you they are your good deeds, that they came there before you so that you would not be afraid. For the only things you can bring to your grave are your deeds. If your deeds are ugly, you will find your tomb filled with stinking, sliming, ugly creatures. They are your ugly deeds. Then you will meet the two angels, Munkir and Nakir. Their faces are the color of the sky, their teeth digging into the earth like the shovel of a bulldozer. Flashes of lightning coming from their eyes, their voices like thunder. They will ask you, Who is your Lord, Azza wa Jal? If you have taken your ego as your Lord, you will say, I don't know. Or even worse still, you will say that you, they are your Lord, that they are your prophet, because you have been a liar and a hypocrite all your life. You have been used to praising tyrants out of fear or hoping for benefit. The, the questioning angel's screams will fill your grave. You are wrong. You are cursed one. You haven't done any good deeds in the world. You followed your nafs, your ego. You squandered your life. Now, taste a sample of the hell which you will inhabit for eternity. Then they will squeeze your grave around you so that your bones will be crushed and you will be flattened. They will release snakes of fire upon you which will devour your flesh. Angels of punishment will beat you with iron bars. You will scream in pain. All the creatures Created beings, plants and animals will hear your scream. Only the men and the jinns will not hear because they have been given the gift of consciousness and also the curse of unconsciousness. And the angels will ask you to look at your right side. You will see all the beauty which is paradise. The angels will say, O oh, unfortunate one, if you had been wise and done what your Lord asked you to do and avoided that which your Lord asked you not to do, this could have been your station. They, then they will ask you to look to your left side, where you will see the tortures and horrors of hell, and they will fill your grave with the fire of hell. There you will stay until the day of judgment. One day of this punishment is equal to one year of this earth. Keep the remembrance of your Creator in your heart and repeat continuously La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah There is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. This is the right answer. 
The one who loves Allah Azza wa Jal and fears Allah Azza wa Jal remembers Allah. He is always in the presence of Allah Azza wa Jal and cannot but be good and do good and cannot want anything else but Him Azza wa Jal. Those are the beloved of Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Those are the beloved of Allah Azza wa Jal and with their effort and with the closeness of Allah Azza wa Jal to them, their nafs, their ego, their personal devil will become a Muslim. And instead of leading them astray, it will be their servant. These will know and taste the secret of dying before death, which means that although they are here in this world, it is lost to them. This world has no place in their hearts. They are here to serve Allah Azza wa Jal. They see with the eyes of Allah, they hear with the eyes of Allah Azza wa Jal, and they speak with the words of Allah Azza wa Jal. If you become a lover of Allah Azza wa Jal and a beloved, when your physical body will die, your worldly life will be pulled out of you like a hair from butter. Subhanallah. And your soul in the form of a beautiful green bird will fly skyward from your chest and it will be welcomed by the angels in heaven. You will answer all the questions of Munkir and Naqir from your heart as your mind will no longer be with you. With the blessed words, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and in the blink of an eye they will turn your tomb into a rose garden from the gardens of paradise. If you knew a single ayat from the Holy Quran, this will become a beautiful light over this garden and there, perfumed and comfortable, you will lounge like a bride or a groom till the day of judgment.